Hello dear students, this video is the continuation of my previous video and in this video I am going to discuss the characteristics of law. If you already watched my previous video, it will be easier for you to understand this concept because almost all the characteristics of law are hidden in the definition and explanation of the concept law. So I am starting with the first point which is laws only controls the external behavior of the citizens or the people. For example, now you are sitting and thinking that you are stealing someone's stuffs or you are hurting someone. For your this thought or for your this imagination, the existing law of a state cannot punish you or cannot control your this kind of thought, right? It is you, by the way, it is you who should not think anything bad or who should not wish anyone's bad and it's your duty to control your bad thought but it's not the responsibility of the state and definitely the law cannot do that. The law cannot control your thought or your uh, internal behavior but when Whenever you are doing this kind of stuff in real, definitely the law will punish you for that. It means the law can only control your external behavior and punish you for your external behavior. The next uh, characteristic of the law is it is equally applicable for all. That means everyone is equal in the eyes of law. So it does mean that, um, okay, let me give you an example. Have you ever uh, seen the statue of justice in front of any court? Its eyes are covered, right? Why that? Because um, the court, while giving any judgment, should not see what is the political or social or any kind of position of the persons that are in the court, right? Or the victim or the culprit. It should only uh, do its judgment on the basis of the existing law and evidence and that's why its eyes are covered. It means that irrespective of gender, social, political position or any kind of power, law is equally ap applicable for all the citizens or all the people of the state. The next concept that um, is another characteristic of law is it is one kind of prohibition or order that all the citizens of the state has to obey. And if anyone does not obey law or violates any kind of or any section of law, he or she has to expect punishment. It's a very common concept. It's uh, all of you already know that because uh, in the previous um, characteristic, I already said law is applicable for all. So definitely everyone has to abide by the laws. And whenever anyone is breaking any section of law, definitely or violating any section of law, definitely he or she will get punishment. The next characteristic that I'm going to explain is law is recognized and imposed by the authority of the state. Uh, in my previous video, that means whenever I was explaining the concept of law, I already have explained this topic too that whenever any set of rules and regulation is formalized by the authority, that is law. That means if you and your friends are making any rule, you cannot term that, that as law until the state or the authority um, formalizes it or imposes it or recognizes it as law. That means any set of rules or regulation will be considered as law only when the authority of the state recognizes that and imposes that. The last uh, characteristic that I'm going to explain now is everyone obeys the customs and regulation of the society. Definitely whenever you are living in a society as a social being, you have to obey the rules and regulation of that society. And we know whenever these are being formalized uh, by the authority, there are the laws. And definitely whenever there are being the laws, you also have to abide by those laws too. So whenever you are staying in the state or at first whenever you are staying in the society, you have to abide by the customs and rules of that society. And whenever they are formalized by the state, definitely you also have to abide by those rules and regulation. That means the laws of the state. So that's all for this video. I hope the concept is clear now. Still, as I always say, if you have any question or confusion, please comment below or comment in the Schoology app. And
and I will try to make another follow-up video answering your questions. Till then, take care. Bye!